He's a track athlete right here in Indiana. That kid can run 200 meters faster backwards than I can run forward. Let's hear it for Noah Malone. What's up, buddy? If a life-changing event does happen, positive or negative, your goals should not change at all. Your goals should not change. Well done, Noah Malone. I would probably describe myself as hyper, always wanting to move around, curious, always asking questions. You know, I would love to be outside and run around with friends. That's probably, that's how track started because my mom saw me running around in the backyard. You know, just like, in terms of just kids racing, you know, outside and, you know, he said, oh, okay, well maybe you should try track. He started, um, I would say, distancing himself from his, his colleagues. He qualified for his first Junior Olympic meet, and we drove to uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. He didn't advance, but he walked off the track, and the first thing he said was, I did it. That was really the beginning of Noah gaining confidence. It was a Junior Olympic track meet in Jacksonville. Um, I was looking at the scoreboard and I couldn't see my time. It was like blur. It wasn't blurry, blurry, but I noticed something was off with my vision. That's when eighth grade came, like a week later, and then that's when it all kind of hit me. We were thinking, you know, as, as parents that, oh, he needs glasses. So let's just go get a checkup um, and get glasses. And that's when you know, we were told that, no, this is something very, very, very serious that's going on here. He went back there with the optometrist himself, and after a while, I was like, well, it's taking them a long time. And she came out to say, hey, sorry it's taking so long, having a hard time getting a, getting a prescription read. At that point, it was kind of like, this is weird. Like, if an eye doctor at here doesn't even know what to do, like, that's kind of scary. But that specific night coming home, it was hard. I. It was kind of hard for not just me, but for my family though, because they knew what was going on, but I, I didn't really fully understand at that time. It probably hit my parents and parents a little bit harder than it hit me. Yeah. The condition I have is called Libra's Optic Hereditary Neuropathy. It is a deterioration of the optic nerve, which is why it's so difficult sometimes for people like, well, just get them glasses and it'll be fine. It's like, well, the problem isn't from the eyeball to the outside world, it is from the brain to the actual eyeball and those lovely little optic nerves aren't doing what they need to do. What it really does is it strips away most of my central vision and leaves me with my peripheral vision. My right eye is the worst eye, it's 20 over 600. And then my left eye is the better eye. It's like 20 over 400. The, the reaction for me was, it, it was more of a helpless feeling because I wanted to say, can't, you know, take my vision. I wanted him to have full access to, to life. I was always making adjustments, holding my phone closer and zooming things larger as the year went on. And that probably was the hardest part because I never knew when it would stop. I never knew how to fix it, if it would get better. Like there were so many questions. I was 13 too. One time, no, he was sitting at the kitchen table and I was on the phone. He was trying to tell me something and, um, and I was putting up my hand like, okay, just give me one minute. And so then he looks over and he asks Diane, is mommy on the phone? And I was, oh, he can't see me. He never thought that, okay, now that I have a vision impairment, I can't run track. That was something he, he did not give up on. Oh, the United States, no one alone. Air Olympics is a division for physically disabled athletes. My first international meet was in Not Wales, Switzerland, and that was for the Para Junior World Championships. And like two weeks after that was the, the Para Pan Am Games in Lima, Peru. All right, the Universal 4x100 underway and a great start by Noah Malone. Noah Malone about to take things over. So the 100, I'm ranked second in the world for T12. 
which is um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool because the World Championships is coming up. So um, for for para sports, you know, it's amazing to wear that uh, USA like the flag on your heart. It's it's an honor. Noah's a great teammate. I looked up to him my seventh and eighth grade year. I was always inspired by his races. He has incredible worth ethic. You know, it just goes to show where he is now. We you know he gets frustrated. I mean, you know, and and I would not say it's 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 easy, but how he handles it is is pretty remarkable. I've watched him become, you know, a leader. He has never thrown in the towel. He's never said, you know, I can't do something. He inspires us uh, on day in and day out. He has difficult times, you know, outside of the track and stuff. It's hard to see questions. Everything has to be zoomed in. Hallways can be an issue, but when that gun goes off and he's running, I mean, he's got 20-20 vision on the track, you know. That's, that's his race, that's his. The 200 at State, um, I, I just have to say, is probably one of the best races that I've ever watched in my life. There were a couple of 200 runners that had had faster times. He said, okay, I'm gonna leave it on the field for the 200, and I said, okay, because this is it. Noah Malone, state runner up in the 100 meter dash, getting ready to add another medal in the 200. Came out the blocks, it, it did not look like he was going to leave it on the field. To hear the announcers the say, well, this person is in front. Hot. Now it's this person. And then I'm coming from behind, and I'm like, I feel this aura around me. And now Malone <laughs> is in front. John starts winging, and then I realize, oh, shoot, the finish line is right there. I kind of lean, and it's so close. What a race. Oh, oh my, goodness. my goodness. Does it get any better than that? I actually thought he won. We're waiting on the results here. They put the name up on the board, and it was Noah. Malone. 21-31 for Malone. That's a top 25 time all time, number 19 in oh Indiana history. It represented almost a, a full circle from that first day in eighth grade of having a, a vision loss and not knowing what it will mean academically, track, socially, to now you're champion in the 200 meters in the state of Indiana. Noah's vision in track and field is, um, yeah, there's there's no impairment there. I wish for Noah, and I think his, his wish is to be, you know, as, as mainstream as possible and do as many things as everyone else does. I think I've overcome all my, you know, hurdles and boundaries because if I didn't overcome, I don't think I would be where I am today with all the support I've gotten. So um, without a doubt, I think I've come a long way since eighth grade. If you hit an obstacle, find something you love and excel in it. So to be honest with you, if it hadn't been for track, I don't know what Noah's journey would be right now. Uh, when the odds were against me, I never folded and got up by angels. Like I was chosen, I was built for this. Yeah, I was made for this. Uh, overcame all the struggle. Game time, we out of the huddle. I'm running up all and I'm never gonna fumble. Never gonna fumble. Yeah, yeah. I've been fighting, 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 fighting. You can see it in my eyes. All the blood, sweat, and tears. All the blood, sweat, and tears. Hard on the man. Somebody cry. I've been running, 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 running. Cause this is my time. Like this is my baby. We ready to shine. I know that we put the time in. Yeah, what they saying, what they saying, what they saying, I can't hear you, I can't hear you, yeah, I've been in my zone, don't nobody own me, yeah, and they gonna know me, yeah, I running up, running up, yeah.